what's up guys happy vlogmas day six today we are doing a nurse christmas wish list this wish list will be good if you have nursing friends and some of the items on here will be good for student nurses too so we will hop right into the list as you guys know i am a registered nurse and so i have all of these products um but i'm gonna give you a couple of different brands for some of these products so of course the first thing on the list is going to be scrubs i feel like if you work in a hospital and you have to work there for 12 hours you should be in really comfortable scrubs but like myself i like to be in really cute scrubs so i gravitate towards fig scrubs however i have also tried janu scrubs and metalita scrubs so I think that they're all cute. However, I like figs. And so I think that that is a good brand to buy. Um, and then I also love big scrub jackets. Um, so I know that they have a few. Here is one option, the Sydney scrub jacket. I feel like this is like an it girl scrub jacket. I don't know, but to me it's really cute. So there's this scrub jacket or um they also have the on shift fleece now i know at some hospitals i have worked at have said that they don't allow fleece however i usually work night shift and night shifters wear fleece i don't know about day shift so pick at your own risk however i do like fleece because it's warmer and it gets cold at night but this is also a really cute option that'll keep you warm as well so the next item oh is going to be your shoes so over the years i have tried a lot of different brands of shoes too so right now i have some pink on clouds and i'll put here what those shoes look like however i have gotten recommendations to try hokas which look like this as well as brooks so I haven't tried Hoka's or Brooks. I've only tried On Clouds and I like On Clouds. Um, I think they're cute and they look really um, cute if you wear jogger scrub bottoms, which is like the Figs or the Genu or Metalita um, jogger scrub bottoms. They're really cute. They are comfortable, but I will say in my honest opinion, they're comfortable for up to about like nine or 10 hours. If you're not on your feet the whole entire shift, there have been shifts where I have been up the whole time. And at that 10 hour mark, my feet start to hurt really bad. So I probably should try out some of these other shoes. But right now I just have the on clouds. And I think that's a good option. If you're not on a super busy floor. So if you work like post op or something, maybe but if you work ER, maybe not. I don't know to each their own. The next item is going to be stethoscope. So a few of these items I have on hand, a few of them I could not find, but this is the stethoscope that I bought myself um, when I was in nursing school in clinicals. It is a Litman, um, and I think that they're the most popular brand. I'm not sure. This is the rainbow. It's also here. Um, I think I got it off of allhearts.com but i will link all of these things in the below description so this is the one i liked it was the closest to the pink that i could get that had like the gold outline but i also saw another really cute option in copper this is also a litman and to me it's just really cute if you like the more like minimalist neutral turn oh earth tones um and stuff like that that one was really cute so this is also i think like a really good gift because i know sometimes um when people are in nursing school they may be on like a tighter budget and so you could gift one of your nursing school friends a nice lit man they don't cost that much i think they're like 129 something like that i don't know um okay so the next thing is going to be a pen light okay so i feel like this is a controversial topic because i have seen led pen lights please stop shining led lights in your patient's eyes don't shine led lights in your patient's eyes it, 
and it just is not it's very uncomfortable so I actually use disposable pen lights I couldn't find the ones that I bought for myself but here um, is similar to what I have and what I use so I like the disposable pen lights they look old I guess and they're not super super cute but um, they work really well and then my patients don't complain about like a super bright light going into their eyes because contrary to popular belief um, we should count respirations and we should actually check pupils. So I've worked on a uh, neuro med surge floor and I've also worked on a neuro IMU floor. IMU is intermediate care. Um, I'm not sure if they call it that everywhere, but it's basically like an ICU step down. So, um, and then the neuro med surge floor I worked on, we had a lot of stroke patients. And so I actually do check pupils and it's really important that we use the correct light to check the pupils um, and we're not like hurting somebody's eyes because they're already in the hospital so you know anyway so those are the kind of pen lights that I suggest um and then I mean they're they're a little cute you can get them in pink mine are pink a lot of my stuff is pink um so uh the next thing is a tote bag so I've been seeing the bog bag um trending I don't have a bog bag I'm not buying that bag it's cute but I'm not gonna buy it it doesn't it doesn't look like it closes and I don't know I kind of have an issue with that but anyway so this is the bag that I bought myself um it's called well I think it's pronounced maven and I got it um personalized I think I did allhearts.com but I will link that below and show you um where I got it so you can go if you like this bag and it comes in like a few different colors and I liked it because it's also a backpack because while we want to be cute girl we are not going to be carrying bags like on our arms these bags are heavy or at least mine is because for our ship we are carrying a lot of stuff in or for me at least because I want to be comfortable while I'm at work and so I try to bring in everything that I need so that is the tote bag that I use um I got it I want to say towards the end of nursing school and I absolutely every time I do a hospital contract I do take this bag with me I don't have any other work bag this bag has um, been just fine for the past I think I got it back in 2021 um and so I think that bag is cute and it, it holds like a lot of stuff too so definitely a bag however if you're a bog bag girl you know whatever girl just get a bag um so the next next thing is going to be a tumbler so another trending tumbler is the stanley cup here i don't have a stanley cup i actually have a tumbler that i got for nurses week because you know during nurses week they like to give us like pens um nursing coloring books tumblers journals like all kinds of things i've got a few nice gifts for um nurses week so i've got a tumbler from there however um my suggestion is just to get a tumbler that doesn't have a straw that doesn't like flip inside because um, at some hospitals or like the ones that I've worked at there's like a designated hydration station because you're not supposed to have liquids at the nurses station but um, so if I'm putting my cup next to a lot of other people's cups and stuff like that I don't necessarily want like the ones with the cute like little straws that match the outside because just for sanitary reasons especially if it doesn't go down because like I don't know I just feel like hospital air is is just not all the time clean and then you don't want somebody like grazing over like the cups and touching your straw and that's gross and so yeah so if you do get a tumbler just make sure it's the one that like has the little um little thing that will close um or you know like the just like the little mouthpiece or whatever the mouthpiece that flips down and never a tumbler with the straw they're cute but I don't think they're sensible for the hospital setting um so the next item is a badge reel so I suggest getting badge reels that look like this I mean in whatever um, design you want they have such cute designs every badge reel that I've got was um, always on Etsy I love Etsy but so I've always gotten my like little personalized badge reels from Etsy I even found like a cute one um, this is like supposed to be nursing student tears I just thought it was really cute but anyway um, 
the i get the ones where like it's an actual like reel and so when you do your badge like it'll come out you don't want the one that just clips to you and doesn't move because like in a lot of these hospitals you're having to open the door get access to like the medication room or the supply room or even to like clock in and out i know the last place i did a contract that i had to clock in and out with my badge and so like who wants to be doing this all the time like no get a badge reel where it moves and does that and so like yeah so etsy for the really cute ones i think amazon has some too but i just went on etsy because i really like the ones that are on etsy i think they're really cute um so the other thing that you want to make sure that you get are pens and highlighters i guess you don't really need highlighters but highlighters are always nice to have um so pens um i found these they're really cute they're from target um, that's where I got my pens from and they work really well I think you can um, I think you can buy refills for them and then highlighters I just found some on Amazon that were really cute and of course like with pens and highlighters you can also use these in nursing school I know that I use a lot of pens of many of pens in nursing school that I no longer have because they ran out of ink and then a mini of highlighters too because that's how I studied using a lot of like my pens and highlighters and then the other thing that you want to make sure you get is your own dry erase markers. Now, I don't know how good of a um, stock that the hospital has that you'll be working at or that you do work at. However, a lot of places that I went to either um, couldn't find like an extra marker or you would have to like go ask somebody if they had an extra dry erase marker. And I personally don't really like that. And so I just bring my own dry erase markers. Here are some options from Target. I like to write things in pink. However, um, the dark pink one, because the light pink one doesn't really show up that well, nor does like the lime green and all of those things. I mean, unless you want to like draw little pictures on your patient's board, um, like little sunshines and limes and I don't know, then I guess that's a good idea. But yeah, I use like the dark pink or like a purple or something like that or black. Um, if I, I have a, the black and red ones as well um, to write on the patient's boards. And you know, when you go in, you're going to go in and like you know write their name write your name uh the date the day and the date because i work night shift only um mostly if i work in the hospital i'm going to be working night shift and so i have to go in there like mid shift to go change the date for them so when they wake up they can see like it's no longer sunday it's monday and then just like different updates on the board and stuff like that like we like to keep our boards updated throughout the shift so the patient knows what's going on and stuff like that so the next item is a really important for my ER nurses, but really all nurses need some um, shears. I prefer trauma shears and I prefer the trauma shears that fold so that you can put them like somewhere on you or like in your pocket and it doesn't take up a whole, whole bunch of space. I personally, like the scrubs that I showed you earlier, I only like one pocket scrub tops and I tuck mine in and I like joggers and so I don't have a lot of space and so I don't be putting like a whole bunch of like bulky things into my pockets and I usually use like that side leg pocket on um on the scrub bottoms anyway like the only thing that I may put into like the pocket on the top is like a pin um and so yeah so trauma shears and then a clipboard so um I personally I have the foldable clipboard the one that looks like this it has a lot of like nice information on the back like lab values and different things like that things that you know you may forget or I don't know you just want to read about but there I like that one because um, I can like do my notes on there or write on like my sheet of paper and then I can just like fold it but I also know that this is a really popular option as well this clipboard and with this one it's like when you take report it's really easy if you don't like have something to write on and you have a clipboard like this and you can just take report like way easier than I can like with my foldable one um but I think they're both cute options for um new nurses or nursing students because I know nursing students you have to take report too so you probably need something to write down and the last thing um on the Christmas wish list is a fanny pack so I have one because 
my background is in the ER as a registered nurse that is the first hospital job that I held so I like got all the cute stuff um, when I first started working in there and the nurse that precepted me she was so cool so she was actually she had a fanny pack but she likes black um, I haven't seen her in a couple of years so I hope she sees this but like she likes black so she had a black one um, and so I was like oh you know I should get that she was like yeah you should get a fanny pack and so it really came in handy because like especially like in the ER who has time to keep going to the pixis in the supply room and all this stuff for different things um needles saline flushes tape all those things your pens your highlighters your markers band-aids um gauze just different things you can fit into here um so I definitely like one of the things that I always put in here is like my saline flushes because at the beginning of the shift I'm always going around like when I go introduce myself like I have my marker go update the board with my name let the patient know who I am and do like my assessment at that time when I'm doing like the bedside report as well as like I'll have alcohol pads and my saline flushes so I can go ahead and like make sure that their line is patent and all that stuff so all that stuff fits in here I got this from Etsy I'll see if I can find the link for this I got it like three years ago now I think I don't know three years ago so um I don't I don't know if they still have it but I'm pretty sure they have something like it so those are all of the gifts um that I think would be good ideas this Christmas to get for your nursing friends or your friends that are nursing students um if you have not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe for the people that have already subscribed thank you so much and thank you for watching this video I will see you in the next one